my fellow homo sapiens, it's your boy Uzumaki Kendo, and today I'm coming at you with Berserker 339. Man, oh man, Berserker 339 came out on time. I am this, I'm, I'm stunned. I am stunned. If you're new to Berserker manga, if you don't know, Years ago, Berserker used to come out weekly, then it came out monthly, and then they start coming out like maybe one or two every year. They was like, yeah, we're going to be monthly, but it never became monthly. It was like, hey, we're going to come out next month on this day. Then it was like a year skip for some odd reason before we got another manga. So when we heard that it was coming out this month, we was like, yeah, it might not. Most likely it's not going to happen. We'll probably get it in 2016 but it actually came out on time and I am stunned so let's go ahead and hop right into this manga so if you haven't read the manga yet please read the manga and come back because there are definitely some spoilers in this review so first thing first we open up with Silic and Raxus going in that's right Silic and his goons Raxus this going in throwing blows. Now Raxus is really holding his own. He's tossing silly goons around like they're nothing. Like they're not even a really a VR a challenge. Now Raxus has some really cool moves on himself. I mean he can fit in very small places. He can split himself in half it seems like that. But this fight was really really nice. I mean we really don't get a lot of action in Berserker like we used to. I mean, the last big fight scene we had was Guts versus that, that Sea God. And that was like maybe three to almost four years ago. I mean, I was still working on a two-year degree for crying out loud. I'd have graduated and, and, and got done with that. So it's been a long time since we had a really, really good fight scene. But at the end of the day, Silic ends up splitting Rax's mass in half. He just... Use his weapon and splits it in half. Now, Raxus says something like, what you perceive as my face might not be my face because it seemed like another face popped up. So that was really interesting. So where his mask is, is that not his face or is that just a secondary face? I'm a little lost on that. Now, one thing I noticed is that Raxus seemed like he got really depressed. He got anti-social social once his mask got broken. He picked his mask up and he was like... This was my favorite mask, and he just slittered off. And he was like, if there's going to be a moon tonight, I'll come back. I'll see you tonight, you know? I'm going to go have to put another mask on, and I'll throw hands with you tonight. Now, me personally, I'm like, the hell this happened? We were getting into a really good fight scene. Like, like, like you getting all pissy because you got your mask, bro? Really? But maybe there's a, a purpose for that mask, or maybe it's a purpose for his masses altogether. So after that fight, Silic turns to Rickard and basically asks about Guts. He asks about this, this warrior. Who is he? You know, um, a little bit more information on him. And then he tells Rickard, maybe we have to get a little rough to loosen your tongue. You know, maybe, 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 maybe me and my goons, not going to kill you, but maybe me and my goons, uh, maybe tighten your little butthole real quick. This Disco, you can tell us a little information. However, Rickard is like, you know what? I don't mind giving you information, but I got a proposal for you. So I'm like, you know what? You know what? I fucks with Rickard. I mean, if Rickard can bitch slap Griffin, that little man got balls of steel. You can't tell me nothing. So Rickard takes him to his home. Um, Silic and his goons got the little hoods on because they stand out. They stand out. Now, one thing I thought was really interesting in this part, and I really does do like this part, is when Erica comes out. And she's like, Rickard, there's orcs behind you. And that part to me personally was really funny. I felt like it was a lot of, com uh, um, really brightened up the manga. Because that's something we don't get a lot is a lot of uh, community type of um, things inside of Berserker manga. It's really dark and serious. And I like the dark and serious. But, you know, every now and then it has something that's kind of funny. That was the perfect um, balance of funny, I think. So we have Luca basically coming out, what's going on. Rickard lets her know, hey, I got to leave tonight. I almost got assassinated. These are my these are my bodyguard. These goons right here is protecting me. Uh, Luca also asks, okay, you know, what you're going to do with Erica? If you keep her here, I'll take care of her. He lets her know, I'm going to take Erica with me. 
Luca lets him know, like, you know, that's good. Maybe that will keep you on your game as long as you have someone to protect. And truthfully, I believe that is the ordeal. We get a flashback a little bit about Guts. You know, um, Rickard's thinking about Guts. He speaks about him. He says, I know Guts is still out there. So I think that this chapter is really kind of setting things up. Silic is talking about his home place where it was hidden or something of that nature and people just couldn't, outsiders just couldn't get to it. So he said, you know what, you're lucky because in my time, outsiders couldn't come to this, this, this holy land. So he's like, you're going to be invited to this land. So I'm a little confused about why would he take Rickard to this land to protect him. I believe that maybe this could be a setup for them to go on a journey to find Guts. But here's the thing. Last time Guts and Silic met, I believe that they was doing blows. So I, I don't think they're on good terms. Maybe I missed a chapter or something. Or maybe Silic is setting up to fight this guy again. I, I don't know. But um, the chapter basically was a really, really decent chapter overall. And at the end, we see, I believe, how you pronounce his name, Raxus. He's on this bird, flying, kind of like, just kind of peeping things out. Now... Overall, I do feel like the chapter was good. So some of the pros in this chapter was the detail in this in, in Berserk manga is great. That's just one thing I really love about Berserk manga. The details is incredible. You really don't see that in a lot of other mangas. Um, definitely the eyes. When you look in Rickard's eyes, you can just see the detail. And it's like, wow. That's one thing I really... It's art. That's one thing I can definitely say about Berserk manga. Sometimes you get some off panels that's like, eh... But the art in this, this this chapter here was just this hands down great. That fight scene was awesome. I enjoyed the fight scene. Now, some of the cons I, I feel about this manga is, once again, we're not getting progress. We're still in the same spot we, we was at two years ago. We're still in the same spot. We haven't heard anything about the, 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 the um, Skull Knight. Um, I'm actually happy that we're off of um, Guts for a while. I mean, the main reason is because years ago, they was just kind of just sticking on Guts and nothing was happening. I'm kind of glad we're, we're on Griffin now, but now it's still nothing's happening. Like, I really want to get some detail. I really want to get some background. I really want to get some, some real good setup and some progress to really move this manga on. I mean, I've been reading this manga for years. I will at least like to finish this manga before I, I'm in my, my early 30s. <laughs> but overall, the manga was great. I'm going to give this manga a 7 out of 10 death right. And the main reason is we got some action. We really didn't get action before. I mean, it's, it's been a while since we got some really good action. The details in the manga was great. But I'm still kind of disappointed of the pacing of the manga. We're going extremely slow. I don't know how far we're supposed to be going. I really want to get somewhere in the manga where I can get up, bounce around, and just, just lose my shit. I, I want to be at a part where I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't know what's going to happen next. I want to get back to that early berserker. But that's all I have today. If I left something out, please let me know in the comment box below. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. It really helps the channel. Thanks for watching. Matane.